take a look at the cation I have drawn right here. This is not the full picture because in this Lewis structure, we could also have the double bond connecting this carbon and this carbon with the positive charge over here. So, let me just draw this out. There we go. These both are the correct Lewis structures for this molecule. However, as you can see here, electrons are localized in this double bond with a single bond here and a double bond here, and electrons are localized. See, this picture gets a little messy because electrons are localized in the two diagrams. Oh, it is also important to note that these are not isomers because their atomic arrangement doesn't differ. The carbon, skeleton, the hydrogens are all in the same place. However, only electrons differ between these two structures. So, if this is the case, it, you can draw a resonance hybrid. Well, what does a resonance hybrid structure actually show? It depicts a picture with the electrons delocalized. I said that the electrons are localized up here. The electrons are localized in this double bond and localized in this double bond. So in both of these snapshots, in these pictures, I could definitively say that the electrons are in the double bond in this one and the electrons are in the double bond here. Well, what I'm going to draw is the same molecule, just a better representation of the molecule. So, here's our base, basic structure. Now, adding a dashed line represents a resonance hybrid structure. The resonance hybrid is more of an accurate snapshot or picture of the molecule because it shows electrons delocalized over a larger volume of the molecule. So what I mean by that is, in this, Electrons are in both places because electrons can form this molecule equally in nature. So, the positive charge is going to be depicted. And there you go. This is our resonance hybrid.